Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Atul Gupta. I'm the Medical Director of Infection Prevention here at Silver Cross Hospital, and we're gonna to talk today about the Delta variant. So you may have heard a lot in the news about this Delta variant spreading around the world and now spreading in the United States. What it is, is uh, when the coronavirus infects someone and it multiplies in that person, um, the virus mutates. Uh, that's a normal thing that all viruses do. Most of the time when it mutates, it uh, doesn't, pr doesn't make it any worse um, or uh, any more concerning for the medical community. But uh, once in a while, when it mutates, it becomes more contagious and possibly more deadly. And that's happened before. We've already had other variants in the United States. This Delta variant is new. Um, it was first identified in India a few months ago. And since then, it's spread all over the world. It's uh, become the dominant strain in uh, Europe. Um, and also, it's come to the United States. It is uh, felt to be more contagious, about uh, uh, twice as contagious as the regular coronavirus we had here last year. And also, uh, more data is showing it causes more severe disease and leads to higher rates of hospitalization. The population we're seeing infected with the Delta variant right now is almost exclusively people who are not vaccinated. The good news is the vaccines we have are very effective against the Delta variant. The uh, data for the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines is excellent. There isn't uh, quite data yet for the Johnson & Johnson, but we expect it to be very effective as well. So really, um, the vast majority of people, 90% plus in the studies that have been done so far in the US of people getting the Delta variant and getting sick from the Delta variant are people who are unvaccinated. There may be some difference in the symptoms with the Delta variant compared to the old coronaviruses that we had. Um, some people are noticing more headache, stuffy nose, um, sore throat. It's difficult to tell this time of year because a lot of that is also the symptoms from allergies, so we're not 100% sure. But just like with all coronaviruses, the main symptom is shortness of breath, cough, fevers, um, and then also, of course, the other symptoms we see, fatigue, uh, loss of smell and taste. Um, the problem with this variant is that the symptoms do seem to be more severe um, and it is certainly uh, much easier to spread from person to person. As with all of the uh, uh, coronavirus that we've had so far, you know, we've been waiting for these vaccines as really our main way to prevent infection. Um, the stuff we've been doing before the vaccines with the masking and the social distancing, it does work. The studies have definitely shown that that stuff works, but by and far the most effective way uh, is with vaccination. Almost exclusively the people we're seeing getting very sick from this variant are people who are unvaccinated. And so that really is the most important thing. And the other thing to remember is even if you have people in your house um, who are vaccinated and you are not vaccinated, um, you can still spread it to them, especially if they're elderly or if they have another reason where their vaccine may not be as effective as it would be for somebody else. If you have young children at home uh, who are not able to get the vaccine yet, uh, we still recommend uh, practicing all of the, uh, the safety measures that we had put in place before as far as trying to keep them uh, away from other people who are unvaccinated if possible and if they need to be with other kids um, or other unvaccinated people to really try to get them to wear a mask. Again, outdoor activities are much safer than indoor activities. Um, every family has to decide its own personal risk profile and risk tolerance. The good news right now is that the amount of coronavirus transmission in the community has gone down significantly. So we don't expect there to be a lot of people out there spreading coronavirus and not knowing it. Um, but I did see uh, just uh, this morning, I was reading an article where they do expect that there will be another surge possibly in July or August, again, related primarily to this new variant. I would say now is the time to get the vaccine. If you uh, have been hesitant or just been waiting um, to see how the vaccines go, We've given the vaccine now to, to hundreds of millions of people in the United States alone. We have really, really great safety data. Uh, we know for a fact the vaccines are extremely safe. The other thing to remember is anytime you hear about a side effect from the vaccine, um, let's take the blood clots, for example. 
Um, we know that the risk of getting a blood clot when you have COVID is about 20 times higher than the risk of getting a blood clot from the vaccine. So yes, there can be some potential side effects from the vaccine, but the side effects from having COVID itself are much, much worse. Um, so I think if you've been waiting and just kind of looking for the right time to get the vaccine with this new variant spreading, especially in that age group, uh, we're seeing this, this, this variant attacking people in their 30s and 40s a lot more than previous COVID. I think now is, is the perfect time to get it again before we see that big surge.